Hi, I'm Lisa Cope and the manager of your cooperative Ben Lomond Connect. At Ben Lomond, family is so important to us and we would like to take a moment for a few of our employees to share their favorite Thanksgiving memories. We hope this will bring some of your special memories of family traditions, loved ones, or even favorite dishes to mind as you reflect on giving thanks. The Board of Directors, employees, and the management at Ben Lomond would like to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. Mm. I always want to sit at the adult table instead of the kids' table, even as a kid. Uh, having it at uh, Matt Stella's house with family. That's how it goes, isn't it? Uh, I guess they're pretty, pretty standard. Just everyone coming together at, at home and eating till we can't move and watching TV and just hanging out with family. Uh, on my mother's side of the family, it was a pretty big family, and, and we would have maybe 50 people at Thanksgiving dinners and stuff like that. And as a kid, uh, we would get out and play baseball if the weather's permitting, or you know, if it was bad weather, we'd go sledding or ride horses or whatever like that. So it was, it was really a big time. It was a big deal. It was a family reunion just about. Well, my mother had a really large family. There were eight of them kids. And we lived on the same road as my grandparents and one of my uncles. And I just remember going to grandma's house just, just up the street and we would take our food up there. And, and it was just always laughter, lots of laughter, lots of singing. Um, and it's, it's just different now because, you know, they're gone. Oh, ma'am with my mother, you know, um, having all of our families together as kids. And uh, we, we had a big family. Uh, and then uh, our mother was the glue of the family. She's the one that kept uh, everybody together. You know, you always had the uh, Thanksgiving meals and, and come into the table uh, with your hands clean and, and always prayer, always, you know, had prayer during our Thanksgiving, but it just, just pulling everybody together and having everybody there at that moment. You know, past and present, you know, I can remember when my father was living. Uh, when we would uh, take off, we'd always go to my grandmother's. And um, that was usually a weekend thing anyway, because they lived over in East Tennessee. But I mean, you know, Thanksgiving, you always got the family together. And usually you spent time, it didn't really matter. You would, you would kind of bounce from family to family during that period of time. Because everybody used to get together more so than what they do now. Um, also, you can bring into when your children were small. Because Thanksgiving, you know, kind of like Christmas as well. Thanksgiving always meant just a little bit more. When your kids are little, it'd be cold and go out and play. You know, leaves be on the ground, like jumping that. You know, just it's just good quality time. Thanksgiving memories to me growing up have been about family, uh, about being uh, together, spending that time uh, eating. It's what we do in our family, uh, as you can see. Um, also, uh, we always have a football game in the front yard of my mother-in-law's house. And uh, we did that as a kid at my house. We used to play wiffle ball, uh, even if it was snowing. Uh, sometimes we've had snow on Thanksgiving, even if it was snowing. So uh, just thankful for those memories with my family. Family, my favorite. Uh. I've got a big family on my mom and dad's side both, and usually Thanksgiving was busy. We'd get up first thing in the morning, and I can remember as a little kid, before Chad and I, my brother, before we was big enough to go hunting by ourselves, my dad and grandpa, or, you know, my dad and uncle and everybody would take us little kids hunting and stuff. So that was sort of their tradition. They'd get up while grandma and everybody was making turkey and stuff. They'd go out hunting, and we got to do that, and then we got to uh, be part of that too, and it, you know, that was a, 
what me and Chad and that, we went on doing that. And then it was after, whenever we quit hunting or Chad, whoever would do stuff, we would still be up with just the family, getting together and just, you know, if nothing else, Thanksgiving is, to me, was just family, being together with all of them. Some of them that don't get to come in that often was all there and it was, that's the, the best Thanksgiving memories to me. Oh man, um, I remember Thanksgiving morning, my mother would be up early cooking and um, I would watch the Macy's Parade. That was tradition every year. And I especially remember, I'm gonna date myself, as a little girl watching the Warren County High School marching band and the Pinerettes going to the Macy's Parade. And I was so in awe of that. I don't remember exactly what year that was, maybe in the early 80s, um, but that's, that's a good thing because I thought, wow, there's somebody I know. Um, later on for lunch, we would go to, um, we would, my family, my grandmother's family would go to the Morrison Schoolhouse and we would have our Thanksgiving there. And my grandmother was one of 11 kids. And so I remember just seeing all of them have the best time, you know, and they would have their Christmas on Thanksgiving day. So there's a Christmas tree and then we'd all go out in the gym and play basketball. And it was really cool because we were the only ones in there. Um, uh, just playing with my cousins and having a big time. That's what I remember most about when I was little, Thanksgiving. Probably just spending time with family. Um, I guess it's been a few years ago, but when I was younger, um, we used to um, always go up to my grandmother and grandfather, um, Glenn and Maxine Mays, and he always had a field full of small calves. And every Thanksgiving, I remember that going out, all the grandchildren would go and feed the calves. And that was just always a happy memory, just to, to get together with everyone, eat, and have a good time. Probably my best memories of Thanksgiving would be waking up on Thanksgiving Day and smelling the house with my mom's cooking. And then watching the Macy Day Thanksgiving Parade. And then we'd always go over to my granny Hollis's and there'd be food everywhere. It'd be great and then we'd go outside and play football and tag and all the kids would just just have a blast being together, all the cousins. And then after that, you know, you have to go to the other side, so we'd go to my mom and pa's. Um, we'd go over there and the food would be everywhere and we'd eat some more, of course, and we'd go outside and play softball or basketball or tag. And then we'd play board games. We'd play board games all night long. And then you never played spoons until you play it with family because there's always blood drawn. <laughs> it's, it's kind of vicious, <laughs> but it's memories you don't forget. Well, Thanksgiving around my house um, was sort of laid back. It wasn't a very big deal to us. Um, my dad, he, he worked outside. His, his job was seasonal, so anytime the weather was good, he would be at work. But mom would, would fix uh, like a, a country ham um, and all the fixings and uh, kind of make it a little special day for us. Uh, but it, it uh, later on as we grew up, uh, mom got into doing the turkey and just going all out. And uh, I think she realized that her kids were growing up and she wanted to make some memories. So. But uh, it, it was a special time for us. Okay, growing up Thanksgiving, my family don't have a real big family, but growing up, what I do remember, my stepmother, you know, cooking two or three days before uh, Thanksgiving, and uh, we had a little small kitchen at my house, and it's just, we had food everywhere, and, uh, you know, we'd, we'd come in there and eat, and we'd uh, usually, I'd, just lay around and watch ball games and stuff the rest of the day. Um, yeah, I remember, you know, at my grandpa and grandma's house uh, every year, uh, everybody brought different kinds of turkey and everything. You, hit, you, you filled up a plate with several different kinds of turkey and, and uh, hams and all that, and um, I enjoyed that. Um, enjoyed. Um, you know, we had a lot of family that came in from Kentucky and Florida and different places. Uh, not every year, but most years, and that was always enjoyable to see them and get, you know, catch up on things and, and things like that. Thanksgiving was going to my mom's house. My mom cooked. 
We didn't really do turkey because her turkey was not the best. It was always dry, so she just, she would cook just anything, anything. And it was just hanging out at my mom's house. Okay, when I, when I think about the Thanksgiving holiday, I think about my mother. Uh, she, uh, I've heard her say several times that that's her favorite holiday of the year. She enjoys cooking, she enjoys having people in her home, and so uh, when I think about Thanksgiving and growing up, I think about family coming in and uh, having an opportunity to meet with those folks and, uh, you know, catch up uh, uh, on, on times of the past year and just uh, have time visiting with, with uh, the family that you don't uh, hardly ever get to see, you know. Um, I guess my favorite memory is just my mom always cooking for us. Uh, whether she was a working mom or a stay-at-home mom during that year, she always made time to make us a big Thanksgiving dinner. And we, she made sure we all gathered together on Thanksgiving. We had a good dinner. We sat around and just talked about memories, got out the photo albums. That, that's a precious memory to me. I love Thanksgiving time because uh, just spending time with my family when I was growing up. Of course, my dad passed away. He got in an accident about nine years ago, and that was my fondest memories, just being with him. Spending time, we'd always take off, go deer hunting. I miss Well, I can remember every Thanksgiving morning, my dad would get up, go to my, his mother's house, my grandmother and grandfather, and him and his brother and maybe some nephews would go hunting until lunchtime. Uh, then my mom, brother, and myself, we would go out there and we would eat lunch with his family, my grandparents, and then at Thanksgiving night, we would go to my mother's grandparents. Um, both sides had really large families, so it was um, interesting to have everybody under one roof. Um, I guess the thing I remember most about my grandmother Neil, Mama Neil as we called her, um, is her fried apple pies. And she would make enough for everybody to have one to eat for dessert if they wanted it, but also we got to take one home to have for breakfast the next morning. So that's something that uh, I remember about Thanksgiving. My best memories are um, being at my grandmother's, uh, helping her cook and make pies and cookies and all that good stuff. and family getting together and having Thanksgiving dinner with, you know, great aunts and the whole nine yards. Um, every Thanksgiving when my mom would cook the big old meals, she would start crying because we were in there test tasting everything and it would just make her a nervous wreck and she would break down and cry. Every Thanksgiving. My memories were going to uh, my grandmother's home. And my favorite dish, one of my favorite dishes, was her turnip greens, <laughs> which everybody said, you know, when your grandmother cooks, they had to put the ton of lard in it, which probably made it the best. But one of my favorite things was the turnip greens and the dressing, and because it had the onions in it also. So that was my favorite part, because no one eats onions anymore, so. Well, I really don't have any that I can think of from growing up, but um, back when the kids were little, I'd come up to Ben Lohman, steal the Tennessean, look at the Black Friday ads, and then bring it back when we come to work on Monday and everything. But now that we don't get the Tennessean, I go down and buy it, then I come back and start cooking. I put my turkey on and start everything else as I do all the cooking for the family meal. Uh, Thanksgiving to me is just getting together for family and uh, just your tradition when uh, a lot of family you don't ever get to see come from out of town and uh, growing up we'd always uh, meet at my grandparents house and uh, 
a lot of fond memories. Uh, both my grandparents are dead now, uh, so we've kind of shifted the tradition to my mother's house and uh, my mom and dad's house, and we still get together and uh, just it's it's, an, it's usually uh, I get up on Thanksgiving morning and I'm a big deer hunter, so I go deer hunting that morning. All the guys will deer hunt, and we meet back up at lunchtime and sit around and eat and uh, watch football games the rest of the evening and uh, get fat, get fat, yeah. My, one of my favorite Thanksgiving memories, I go back to my grandmother being passed now, but uh, there, uh, her last year, year and a half of her life, she, uh, we had to move her to life care. She had Alzheimer's and uh, over here in Sparta. And uh, we, was, we got to eat Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, they invited the family up there. And uh, so all the family got together and, and uh, had Thanksgiving dinner. And, uh, one of her other employees, Terry Benson, uh, her father was up there at the same time, and uh, I wish everybody had a chance to meet him. He was a, he was a character. He was a little, little short guy, and uh, he was a ladies' man, and he, he kept us, he kept us laughing and going, and so uh, uh, we, we had a real good time. I was really glad that the, uh, the nursing home invited all the family to get together during that, because that was that was the last Thanksgiving I got to spend with her, which she was in. You know, pretty bad health then, but I, but I'll always hoping and thinking that she'll remember that and remember, you know, before she passed. That we was all was able to get together up there, so that, that was a lot of fun. Uh, at my house, every Thanksgiving uh, mornings we went hunting with Daddy and come back and spend time with Granny and Grandpa and everybody sit around the table and classic eating, you know, and it it was fond memories. Uh, we don't really have any traditions, but usually all the all the siblings that live close by usually come together and we have Thanksgiving at, either at my house or my parents' house or my sister's house. They're big enough to house all of us. We've got grandparents have 16 grandchildren, so it's pretty crowded. Um, so that's that's usually what we do. Hmm, is Thanksgiving today uh, kind of more hyped up than it needs to be? Is it? It's more hustle and bustle and more having to have the right silverware on the plate than it needs to be and ever got to have all the right fixings and stuff. I guess it's not about all that, but it's what everybody makes it to be. It's more about spending time with family and giving thanks to the Lord for blessing us with another year and the ability to pay for our food and have food on the table. Okay. Um, my my parents and my uh, in-laws are getting older and all, and, and uh, I'm afraid the traditions are going to be changing. But uh, I've been informed that uh, uh, we were going to have Thanksgiving Thursday because of some travel plans of uh, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, things like that. But uh, a lot of the traditions, I'm afraid, I'm afraid are going to go away, you know. You're going to be buying a store-bought turkey and uh, uh, those homemade meals are going to be canned and, you know, uh, gone are the homemade rolls and things like that. But, you know, hey, you've got a new family coming along and, and family's, I guess, more important than a, a pecan pie. Okay, one year on Thanksgiving, we had some uh, friends they had a death in the family. And uh, so I, I, I think we might have been displaced for Thanksgiving meal that week. And I'm not even sure if we had a Thanksgiving lunch, whatever. But anyway, we had, had come to town for the funeral and it was like five or six o'clock or to visit the funeral home. And we said, hey, we'll just get eat supper in town. So we got to town and you know, the fast food places were closed. They had closed at noon. And uh, we thought, hey, the, the Mexican restaurant, they won't even know what Thanksgiving is. They'll be open. <laughs> so uh, they had, I think they had opened the year before and didn't, didn't really understand why nobody was there. <laughs> but uh, they were closed. So we went by the Chinese restaurant thinking the same thing. They was closed. Just everything was closed. 
There was not a place to get anything to eat. So here we are, and uh, we end up stopping at a gas station and got a little bag of combos, you know, for supper, which I, I'm, I don't guess we're gonna starve to death or anything. But uh, I come back to work uh, on Monday and uh, Sonia asked me about that story, you know. And um, she, she said, uh, uh, well, you know, that is the saddest story ever. Well, the next year, about Monday or Tuesday before Thanksgiving, she said, do you have any place to go for Thanksgiving? And I thought, you know what, this what is getting ready to happen here. She is going to invite me to her house if she doesn't have any, you know, if I don't have a place to go. And I said, well, I'm not sure. She said, let me tell you what. She said, gondola is open that day. So if you don't have any place to eat, you can go there. So uh, I wasn't offered a place to eat, just some information. But if you know Sonya Bond, that's about the best you're going to get. Now that we're all spread out and grown and got our careers going, uh, it's, it's not as easy getting together. And like I said, our, our mother, she passed away several years ago, uh, 35 years ago. And that's really the glue that holds the family together when it comes to family gatherings and being in places and times. And uh, we don't have that much now, but we do find time to get together as a family and spend that little time. It may not be on Thanksgiving, it may be the day before, or the day after, but. Um, um, we do, as, as my family has grown with my three new grandchildren I have, um, we have a great big meal with the kids and the grandbabies, and, and it, I just can't explain it. Well, it's always, now it's always a big get together. We, uh, we go out to Pam's, and usually there's like 40 people and of course the first thing, the first thing that they do is everybody joins hands and before prayer you go around the room and um, something to be thankful for. For, you know, not, not necessarily in your life in general, but in the last year since the last Thanksgiving, what do you see that makes you thankful for having another year, for being on this earth? Well, it sort of changed. Of course, you know, as families changed, like, uh, you know, uh, several of my families passed and gone that we did that with. And uh, now, something that's special to me on, on tradition is uh, the Carter families are all starting to gather at my house. So, uh, the prep and getting ready for that and the family. And I got an aunt that will meet at my house early of the morning and getting to just fellowship with her and part of that. That's become a tradition, sort of, that means a lot to me. And uh, you get things, you know, you know, a half a day here and there with people you love is a, you know, stuff that you'll never forget and something that you can never let go of. It's something that you get to keep forever. Uh, well, it's 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 a whole lot more laid back. I'm thinking actually this year about putting up my Christmas tree on Thanksgiving Day because, um, you know, it's kind of sad. Um, my grandmother has passed on. She has one sibling left, and she lives in Indiana, so. You know, that's kind of, we, we do that on the Saturday after Thanksgiving. We get together with some of my mom's family, but it's not the same. You know, it's, it's good to see them, but it's just not the same. And uh, so, but actually Thanksgiving Day itself, I don't really have any plans. I did go to my aunt and uncle's house last year. They took pity on me and, and my, my family and let us come over there and we had a good time. And, that, and that's something we've not ever done. It was with my, my dad's brother and his family. But, um, uh, just kind of laid back and some some years I will go to bed early so I can get up and shopping for Black Friday but I haven't done that in a while I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> Sometimes chaos <laughs> but I think in every family there's a sense of chaos but that's what makes it so special is running to each family and enjoying time. Um, I can't even start with food we have everything we have cakes, pies, desserts, cookies, the turkey, we have ham, we have all the food from the garden and that's 
that's right there is all you need. <laughs> but it's great. Well, Thanksgiving today, of course, my folks, grandparents and parents alike have all passed, so you know, it's it's different. You try to carry on the tradition, but something's missing. Um, but you know, you still go all out and cook and and uh, uh, have a big time with the family that's left and uh, enjoy the day. Just eat, sleep, eat some more. And then by that time, it's time to go to bed. So you're going to get another another uh, six or seven hours sleep. So. Uh, that's basically what we do now. Okay, Thanksgiving at my house, uh, we rise and shine pretty early. Uh, my wife and my uh, oldest grandson and my son and one of her friends, they go to Cookville and do a 5K. It's called the Turkey Trot. So that's, uh, we get up early and, and get them out the door to go to that and then uh, they'll get back, everybody will get ready, and then we'll go to uh, my stepmother's house, and that's where we have our Thanksgiving dinner. Then after Thanksgiving dinner, it's uh, all about uh, looking at the newspapers, and getting ready for Black Friday, and, uh, and playing. Uh, usually we've got like an annual football game. Uh, my son, myself, and uh, my nephew and my current oldest grandson, we have to go outside and have a football game. Uh, not really, I mean, we, we of course get together every year and eat and everything and spend most of the whole day together. Uh, used to be hunting, but most of us don't hunt anymore. We, we eat too much and stay home and watch TV more, you know, things like that. Um, but we trade out going to each other's house every year. You know, we go to my wife's mom and dad's, my mom and dad goes out there, and, and then uh, they'll come to our house one year, and then to my mom and dad's, and, and I enjoy that. It breaks it up, makes it, makes it special every year, a little different, and things like that. Well, just to continue that, our family comes in. We have family that comes in from uh, Smyrna, Tennessee, uh, Virginia. Uh, Mount Juliet, uh, different air, different places, Murfreesboro, and so uh, we, we bring those folks in and, uh, uh, you know, like I said, get to visit, catch up on, uh, on, uh, on memories and things like that and just uh, have some time there with them. Um, and I, I make sure to cook Thanksgiving dinner. We always have family day that day, spend as much time as we can together and we just make it a family day. Um, if it's a pretty day, warm day for Thanksgiving, we'll get outside, maybe throw a football around, do some kind of activities outside, but we make it all about family. Well, um, I have three children and a daughter-in-law, so my brother and his family and my family, we all go to my mother's on Thanksgiving night. Um, there's, and of course, some of the kids now have boyfriends that they bring, so our little family is growing. Um, so there's usually maybe 12, 13 of us. Um, my dad passed away in 96, so um, we, um, we're, we're about 12 or 13 right now. We eat, we play games, we laugh, just enjoy being together. Well, Thanksgiving, um, my mom, we, we do Thanksgiving with my mom. My sister cooks the turkey. You know, we all take our part. Mine, I'm the homemade roll maker. Um, I think my sister makes green beans. My sister, or my brother, he makes his cowboy beans. And you know, my kids, they make their thing. And it's become basically a tradition that my daughter Tiffany makes uh, the chocolate pies that my grandmother used to make and then my oldest one Natalie she makes the uh, uh, my little brother calls it Tom and Jerry pie it's a recipe that's been in our family for over a hundred years and so you know we just kind of all get together and we cook and we have our big dinner together and we laugh and cut up and eat till we can't eat no more and then uh, 
A lot of times, the next day, I might just have my kids at my house and we do our own little Thanksgiving dinner, which, you know, since we've had so much turkey, that just might not be nothing but Chinese. <laughs> um, most of the time on Thanksgiving, we eat and watch football. And then nap. <laughs> well, my kids are grown. Uh, trying to get them at home is kind of the, the big thing today. And uh, I enjoy cooking, and uh, so they, uh, they kind of give me their, uh, what they want. Uh, probably two or three weeks ahead, we're getting the menu built up currently as we speak. And, uh, and it's kind of some, not as traditional Thanksgiving, sometimes we'll tinker around with the turkey and do it this way or that way. And, and, uh, and, but the main thing is just trying to get everybody together. Thanksgiving today is us is definitely turkey and dressing, uh, mashed potatoes, baked beans, uh, no cranberry sauce. I can't stand cranberry sauce. Uh, but the giblet gravy to me is probably the best. Uh, you cover your mashed potatoes and your, and your turkey and giblet gravy and I'm good. If I don't have anything else, if I got giblet gravy and mashed potatoes and turkey, I'm good. We just um, get together as a family and bring in things just like we did before, only it's me and my kids. And my mom and dad will come too, so that kind of still holds us all together. Just that, being able to provide for myself and have a house and have a decent job and being able to make it on my own. This season, I'm thankful for my family, uh, their health, and Ben Loman and everything it's done for me and the people here. <laughs> uh, I, I guess uh, uh, absolutely the most thankful thing would be God's grace. Uh, he has blessed our country, my household, and of course this company and community, and uh, I'm very thankful for that. I'm most thankful for my kids and my grandkids, my family's health. Um, there's so much in the world right now. I'm just glad that God's holding us all together. I'm thankful for my health for one thing, um, my family, my grandbaby, for sure, and I'm um, blessed to work for a great company. What am I most thankful for? That's a loaded question. Um, I'm very thankful for the country that we live in. Um, Obviously, salvation would be first, but, but then second would be my family, our health, and this country that we live in. And even though we might disagree politically, whatever, um, we can still be friends and be respectful of each other. So I guess that would be my tops right there. I am thankful for my family. I just have one child, and he's my pride and joy. I'm very thankful for my family. Most thankful for my family. Now that I'm a mom, I can understand how much my mother put into Thanksgiving and the holidays to make it special to me. And I can only hope I can be half as good as what she was for me. I cannot pinpoint one thing, Brian, because God has so richly blessed me. And it would take all day, and you don't have enough film. Um, it would take me all day to literally just pinpoint, you know, what I am thankful for. But, you know, whether we have a little or a lot, we need to be thankful every day because life is so precious and it is so short. Um, we, we need to be thankful every day for everything we have and to give God the glory for it. I am very thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful for my job. And I'm just, I'm thankful for the friends I have. I'm thankful to be able to spend another Thanksgiving with my whole family. I have my whole family still. Uh, mom, dad, sister, of course, kids, and had uh, two additions 
actually this year to the family grandbabies and uh, got one coming in December looking forward to that so uh, that's that's pretty much what I'm looking forward to this year. Uh, it's been a rough year so I'm thankful that everything went good we had a lot of good things happen to us this year so just thankful for my kids my job my family yeah. uh, I think that would be family. I think our family has uh, had some challenges this last year. We've got a brother-in-law that was injured and things like that. We've uh, been able to help them and so thankful that uh, of the family we have here and uh, you know the memories that we've had uh, over the years uh, you know growing up and, uh, and today. So Thanksgiving for us is all about family. I'm thankful for my health, my family, and I'm just thankful uh, that the good Lord takes care of us and blesses me every day. I'm thankful for my family. I thank Him every day for Most thankful for, I would say, most thankful the freedoms that we still have in the United States that I think we take for granted. Um, my family, health, um, just um, to be healthy and be able to get together at Thanksgiving. For family. I'm very thankful that the good Lord's helped me get through this year. It's been, it's been a pretty rough year. I miss my husband a lot, but the good Lord's been there with me every step of the way. And my family has also. They've been right there. My family here at Ben Loman and my family at home. You know, I've got two of the best families anybody could ever ask for. So. I'm very thankful for that. Uh, my family. Mm -hmm. Family of good Lord. That's always important. Uh, definitely my health and, and actually probably my most thankful thing is just for the salvation that Christ gave me uh, many years ago that I still see through to this day. Um, gets me through every day, um, gives me something to look forward to. My family and, you know, um, my boys, um, my boys I'm blessed with. Their, uh, their involvement in the church, what they're doing, um, I couldn't be more blessed than the whole family that I've got. Um, you know, people always have bumps and hards and different things in life, but uh, God's blessed me in many ways. I'm very thankful to that, and really, you know, you read the Bible and everything. When we talk about all the holidays and stuff. Thanksgiving is special to me. All through the Bible, we're taught to be thankful. Thanksgiving's that time. You know, we give thanks to some things that we don't always think about, and that's, that's special to me, and giving God the thanks, because without Him in my life, none of that would be possible. That's a hard one. You've lined me up with the rest of the family. Um, I guess just family. You know, uh, our health, our well-being, um, what God has given us, you know, bestowed upon each and every one of us. Uh, to have a good job. And I'm not saying that because of sitting here for this, um, but you know, we're all blessed. But yeah, I guess that's the main thing, you know. People, you know what, you've got your back and they've got yours. And that's not just family, that's work family as well. So, yeah.